according to Greek and Roman sources, on his way to the Garden of Hesperides, on the island of Etheria, Hercules had to cross the mountain that was once called Atlas. Instead of climbing the great mountain, Hercules used his superhuman strength to smash through it. By doing so, he connected the Atlantic Ocean with the Mediterranean Sea and formed the Strait of Gibraltar. One part of the split mountain is Gibraltar, on the other is Monte Hacho, or Jebel Musu. Uh, these two mountains, taken together, have since been known as the Pillars of Hercules. The monkeys on Gibraltar are a protected species of North African uh, monkeys. They're actually quite tame, quite easy to get along with. All over the rock there are these watering holes with shade uh, where they can just hang out and be themselves. You're really uh, not supposed to go near them. It was uh, noted by a British general that if the monkeys ever left the rock that fate would have it that uh, Britain would have to also leave. Now there are clearly signs everywhere that says do not feed the monkeys. But these ladies have to learn the hard way. They offered this big monkey a chip and he just decided to grab the whole bag. I think it's pretty funny. So, we are on our way to the portal of hell, and um, let's see, we have to cross the suspension bridge. Now this is a fairly well-made suspension bridge, but I thought you might like a virtual reality uh, look-see from uh, this bridge as we walk across. Greek and Roman times, this was considered the entrance to Hades, in other words, the gates of hell. Today it's named St. Michael's Cave, and that's because St. Michael is the one who threw Lucifer into hell, and if this is the entrance to hell, then it only makes sense that after all this millennia goes by, he's still here guarding the gates of hell to make sure that Lucifer stays where he's supposed to be. So we're going to try to find St. Michael in this cave. And there he is. Now that's a light transposing over the rocks and now you'll get a chance to see St. Michael in a more normal light. A little bit more normal anyway. This cave is really beautiful. No one knows how far the, uh, the, the cave actually goes. Some have thought that it might even go to the other mountain uh, on the African coast. Um, it's never been fully, there he is right there. You can see him on the back wall, St. Michael. Um, but yeah, they, it's never been fully uh, explored. So there are caverns, and I suppose nowadays, you know, we have drones that can probably slip through the little places that a human cannot. Sorry for the dizzying 360 movement there. As we tour through the cave, it's just, it's just really stunning. And uh, the way that the operators of the cave have added the different lighting to accentuate 
its weirdness is uh, is amazing. Now there's more than just a connection of you know happenstance rock that uh, connects St. Michael to this particular cave. Uh, it's a very well documented fact that St. Michael himself has been seen on three separate occasions with witnesses uh, and apparitions in this cave. So throughout time uh, there is some connection here between this cave and St. Michael the Archangel. It is sunset officially. 